Hi everybody. Good day to you. It is Monday and we are near Zojoji Temple. Speaking of Joji, you notice anything similar here? This is the Joji of Zojoji. Can you say hello? Okay, so it's Golden Week, everybody. Happy Golden Week to you, wherever you are in the world. We happen to be in Tokyo, Japan, where we live. And this, this is a week here called Golden Week, where there's many holidays all bunched together. So everybody gets out and celebrates, and people take extra days off from work so they can really stretch out the holiday. So today, we are at a place called Zojoji Temple, which is in central Tokyo. And we're not actually gonna go to Zojoji Temple today, but the reason we stopped here was to show you guys these very intriguing Jizo statues. And this is a dye baby. Okay, so you counted, you counted. How many did you count? about 300 about 300 of them wow so these statues have a significance and it's not a very happy significance but rather a healing significance so these statues they're called Jizo and they represent the souls of unborn children that have died so people come here and they place hand-knitted caps on the statues. They dress them. They've all got a pinwheel. So the wind blows through them and it's very childlike. They place flowers. A lot of these flowers are not real, which is, yeah. uh, these are, are artificial flowers. Yeah. Some people's putting like these some people put fresh flowers. Oh yeah, the pinwheels. Oh, they put a, a little, little, uh, whatever you call it, a little charm. They put place charms on there. But these are these are a they are a means of healing for a lot of people, a lot of women and couples. Um, they have somewhere to go to to um, grieve and to bring some. Um, help bring some closure to the loss of their baby, which is never easy. I've been through it with my wife and it was a terrible time. Um, and I've heard that this is kind of spreading to the West. Evidently they have, they have these kind of uh, Jizo sanctuaries um, in the States as well somewhere. So it's a, it's a really, uh, really nice idea. Like I say, it's not a, place to celebrate by any means. They are very cute, um, but they have a kind of a somber significance. Um, so let's just take a look at them for a minute. And here's a newer one here. Look at this one, he's, he's, he's new. Some of these are quite old, been here for a very long time. And some are new, as you can see from this one here. Yeah, and when I, I was small, like two or three years old, and mommy's stomach, there was a kid. Yeah. But it died. Mm. So maybe it's here somewhere. Yeah, maybe his soul is, his or her soul is being represented here. But it don't have a name. It doesn't. Or. Yeah, when babies before they're born, Something oftentimes don't have names. Gone, gone. That's right. And I bought. Yeah, what did you buy? The koro koro dango. Koro koro dango. Can you show us? What did you get? Koro koro dango. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Let's just zoom in on that. Are you going to share that or is that just for your stomach? 
can share it. Well, let's not eat it, but just, just for your stomach. Okay, we're not gonna eat that here though. Right now we're talking to these good peeps and showing them this sanctuary. So again, this is Zojoji Temple, which is in central Tokyo. It's near Tokyo Tower. And we are heading to Tokyo Tower right after this. We're gonna walk up the hills. We'll keep the stream going and show you guys the carp streamers, the koi nobori. So uh, we'll get to that in a minute. That'll be the second half of the show. Uh, I'm just seeing some congratulations on your cardboard play button, Peter. Totally earned it. Hey man, if anybody deserves a cardboard play button, it's this guy, right? All right. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about here, let me just show you. Let's see if I can do this without screwing things up. Can you see that? Everybody see that? That's, that's my award from YouTube for 5,000 subscribers. Can you all see that? Do you see the image? Yes, no, somebody, anybody? Bueller, Bueller? <laughs> Can anybody see the image? Okay, I'm gonna go back because I'm not sure if you're seeing it. I think you should be seeing it. Do you see it? Yep, you see it, good, okay, all right. So this is a really nice shot here from the, uh, the garden of the Jizo statues. So we'll take a little bit more look around at the Jizo statues here, and I'll try to answer some of your questions if anybody has any questions. Yeah, John doesn't have a cardboard one. They reserve that for people that really got it going on, man. Those are the guys who get the cardboard ones. Look, some people's putting like a, look. Uh, what is it? Pretty. Okay, yeah, they've got a, let's swing this around here. Ooh, what is that? So they've got, uh, some people light incense. It's since burned out. Here's like an offer, offertory cup of something. Maybe they put some tea in there or... Look, this is maybe a... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But they really are cute. They're pretty. And again, I think it's a, uh, it's a great place to help get some closure on a really difficult time in people's lives. Um, and there's a lot of ants but I think there. for those for those ladies who are watching who have had this have, have gone through this difficult time of losing an unborn baby or God forbid losing a born baby um, as you know try try again don't give up. There's always another chance and it's a very common thing. Um, I'm not going to be the preacher here, but I, I've been through it and um, I know that it's a very common thing. A lot of women go through losing a baby. And uh, so it's a tough time, but you try, try again, stick at it, stick with it, keep at it. That's what I wanted to say. Let's swing back around here. Enough of my theologian PVG stuff. Let's go back here. I want to ease it down, go. Okay, well, let's, we're going to wrap this up in a minute. And next week, I'll have Yeah, you're coming, Ms. Fernandez. Chen Kuting Fernandez, you're coming to Tokyo. Good. You're going to love it. Right now, the weather in Tokyo is fantastic. May is my all-time favorite month for Japan, Tokyo especially. And we're at the very end of April now. It's warm, little rain, and it's just gorgeous. How many kids do I want? Shazri, Asman, Shazri, I, I noticed, I recognize your name. Hey, please don't kick those rocks. Um, yeah, I'm cool with just, just this one, just this guy. I am blessed with a beautiful boy here. And 
he has been a godsend to me in many ways. Um, and so easy to deal with. I, a lot of my friends that have kids the same age, I hear these, these horror stories of them, their kids just being just completely unruly from, from the moment they're born and not sleeping and just being, just being really, really difficult. Um, never had that with this guy. I've been very, very lucky. Why are you such a good kid? What do you think the secret is? Yeah. You don't know the secret? But why are you so why are you so easy to, to deal with? If the whole world was filled with Jojis. No. No, if. If the whole world was filled with Jojis. Man, paradise on earth. Well me. <laughs> maybe not paradise, oh. but it'd be a nicer place. Maybe. Not me, it's you. All right, let's see. Uh, I can't smash the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Hey, you people need to hit that like button. How many likes we Can got? No, in? you cannot. Um, I can't see. I'm using this... I'm using a um, an app that is called Wirecast, and it doesn't allow me to see how many like buttons we're getting, or how, how many likes we're getting. So I need to rely on you folks to... Smash that like button. Just take a moment, take a moment, and not just for me, but for all of these souls of the stillborn or babies that didn't make it to our wonderful planet and life. Smash the like button for them. Like. That's right, that's right, the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Do that. So, put your air. Oh, put your hand oh we got 52 likes. Air. We've got 75 watching and 52 likes, 76 watching. So, we're still a few short. Joji, can you do the math on that? We've got 76 people, 75 people watching. We just lost somebody. Boo. Oh. We don't like to lose people. On, oh, we got 78. We just lost, we got three more. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, let's walk back this way. We're gonna make our way up the hill to Tokyo Tower for the Koi no Bori, so we can chat on the way up. Okay, I'll for that. So again, for those who are just tuning in, we are at Zojoji Temple. No! Not Joji. This is not Joji. It's not Joji's temple. It's not your temple. But you guys share a similar name. All right, that's enough. So we're at Zojoji Temple, and um, it's near Tokyo Tower. It's on the Mita Line, Onarimon Station. Not real pertinent, but um, it's a lovely little garden here. And these are Jizo statues. Again, for those who are just tuning in, these are Jizo statues, which are here to uh, represent the souls of children that didn't make it to uh, full birth. And it's a place for people to come to some closure, to grieve. They put knit hats and they clothe the Jizo statues They're really darling. Okay. So let's make our way up the hill. Oh, make the way up the hill here. I think I see somebody I know. You see somebody you know over there? Oh, yeah. We're going to make our way up the hill to Tokyo Tower. So we'll just kind of keep our stream going here. I'll see if I can answer some of your questions if anybody has it. Uh, I didn't tell this place when I was there. Yeah, it's a, it's not a really well advertised spot. Right alongside Zojoji Temple. It's right on the street here. There's a street that runs up from, that's called, uh, down the end there is a major street called Hibiya Dori. It's 
kind of a cool shot. Look at that. It's a nice shot. And it runs up, runs along the street here. You recommend any places in? Yeah, sorry, I don't. I don't know Osaka. I don't think I've even been to Osaka. Um, I would talk to John. Ask John Dobb from Only in Japan. He he knows Osaka, and he's friends with Kevin, who lives there. So I can't uh, offer recommendations for Osaka. Hello, Houston. Thank you for your question, but yeah, sorry, I don't know about Osaka. I want to show eating, right? You want to take a bite of your... You want to eat one? Okay. Just have one. All right, let's... Maybe take. Can you do it? Or can you... Do you need help? What's this called? Korokoro Dango. Koro Koro Dango. What's inside that? <laughs> Dango. Dango is inside? Can you take a bite and show us? Take a bite and show us. Dango. Okay, so it's just You like... are every day saying, what is inside Dango? Well, I'm, I'm not... Like, just Dango. Dango is Dango. <laughs> Dango. It's like asking... smart kid can I eat one more so I guess it's kind of like asking what's what's in a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> do you know the answer smart guy hmm uh, do you know the answer what's what's inside a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if I can turn this around all right no. forget it my gag died I couldn't spin the camera around in time can so I let's eat it? not all of it but we're gonna make our way up. So this is a. Uh... Wait, can I eat one more? Then finish. How about you share that with me? So again, Zojoji Temple is off over here. Then now, boom, daddy. And okay, let me uh, show, show me which one I'm gonna get. What flavor is that? Is the green one like? Uh... It's like... It's like a big fat olive. Is that an olive or a dango? Let me take it. <laughs> I want that one. Don't say it. What's it inside? Don't say it. That goes inside. It's dango, so, okay? I'm going to try this big fat dango and see what's inside. No, I said dango's inside. It's dango. Hmm. I said dangles inside is dangle. No, is the green one the same? I'm gonna have to try all wait, these. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, mine's got. Ooh, uh, I it's got a, a secret. little bit. Mine's, secret. Mine's got a. Uh, you see that? Okay. Yeah, but I taste something too. This dangle. I think the lady at the shop knew I was gonna eat the green one, so she put something okay. special in there for me to celebrate no. to celebrate my five thousand subscribers. That. Shut up. Inside the white one, it has something too. Mmm, that's tasty. So it's got a little bit of. Have this. Has a little bit of onko inside, the red bean paste. Next hour is the pink one. Pink mm. one. That's tasty. And next I try the pink one. Okay, try it. Oh, Uncle. you got some. Hey, wait a minute! You got something special inside yours too. Onko. You know Uncle? Yeah, I have an I have an Uncle Albert. He passed away, God bless his soul. Mm. Uncle, <gasps> Uncle Albert was a really nice man. Alright, I'm go back here. So, let's swing around here. This is the chief temple of the Jodo Buddhist sect. Zojoji. So Zojoji was founded in 1393 by the Jodo Shu denomination of the central monastery of the Kanto East Japan region. 
blah, 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 blah. All right. So Zojoji is a nice place to come. Here's the layout, the map. And we're going to make our way up the hill here. Ready to walk up the hill? Look, there's a barbecue. See? Yeah, actually, actually, a good point, Joji. Glad you pointed that out. So across the street here, this place is slick. Across the street from the Jizo statues is this restaurant. You can sit outside. It's kind of a beer garden. And it's at the Prince Hotel. I'll show you. And I'll try not to get hit by a car. Actually, they can't. This, uh, this road is closed to cars right now. So it's a great, a great road for uh, walking. It's a long road straight up from the main street down there, Hibiyadori, up to Tokyo Tower. There it is. There's Tokyo Tower right there. Where do we go? I want to go to the top. I'm going to go to the top? Yeah. So right here, right here is this beer garden. Um, which is part of the Tokyo Prince Hotel. Um, there's some really good places to eat right around here. Um, you can sit outside here and also down the road here. And to the left, if you go this way, when you get to the end of the street down here, there's a place called Les Cotillons. Les Cotillons, maybe? I don't know the, the French pronunciation, but it's a bakery, really good food. Um, they've got tartan and other Frenchy stuff, souffles and things. I recommend it. Just down here to the left, right near Zojoji Temple. All right. Oops, get rid of that. Uh, all right, so let's swing back around here. Let's go, Jojo, up the road. We're making our way up the road here. So I'm gonna try to, uh, see what's going on here. So where are you all watching from? No, this street is not permanently closed, but it is um, today. I think it's because it's a holiday. Um, I've, I've rid ridden my motorcycle down the street before, so it's not always closed. But it's what they call in Japan Hokosha Tengoku. I think Tengoku. Hoko, hokosha Tengoku. 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 It means uh, walking heaven. So when the street is blocked off from cars, people get celebrated, celebratory. They get all jiggy. Because Tokyo is a pretty crowded place. And when you can walk freely down a main street, no cars honking at you, running you down. It's time to celebrate. It's Tokyo Tower ahead of us. So yeah, so Golden Week is a week where they, Japan has several holidays grouped together. So um, people will take a couple days off in the middle of the week so they can string together, you know, like, 10 days or something all um, all grouped together so they can get out of town. They can take a, a, a nice trip, get away from Japan, or a lot of them take to the roads and they head to their hometowns. And it's, um, it's look, it's really crowded. Room. Hey, Joji, look, you miscounted. Look at all the Jizo up here too. I totally forgot about this. I thought we were missing some. So check it out, people. Up here also, is a whole lot more of the statues. There's hundreds of them that line this road all the way up. Maybe I can get up there. Um, yeah, I think we, we missed the, the entrance, but all along here, there's more of these statues.
Let me show you a close-up of what those look like for those who are just tuning in. So again, the Jizo statues are a, uh, a place of, of, of uh, worship for babies that were, um, that died. So these, uh, these Jizo statues represent that and people place knitted hats on them and clothe them and have pinwheels and uh, it's really a nice place. Has. Five, it has 500. Yeah, I think there's more than what you counted. Let me zoom out here. Yeah. All right, we're just about at the base of Tokyo Tower. Tokyo Tower is right here ahead of us. I love these old stone walls. Love these stone walls. Check this out. This goes all the way up. There's a cemetery here, actually. So this is a cemetery, and these walls are lining the cemetery. But let's get a close-up on the, the uh, composition of this. They've got, like, slate... Um, Almost like, I don't know what you call them, but uh, not shingles, but they're slate slabs that are um, sandwiched between stucco and just stacked up. Boom, 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 boom. And the ubiquitous Japanese roof tiling, which is just awesome. I love that. Let's even get closer. Pretty cool. Cool stuff. Okay. Enough of that stuff. Now we're going into part two. Part two of our stream. Whoa, what happened to me? Okay. All right, we're heading this way. We are heading to Tokyo Tower. You know? yeah. For the koi nobori. So, for those who don't know what koi nobori is, it's the carp streamers. Wait a minute, you've got a carp hat on. Yeah. And right. carp uh, socks too. You got carp socks? Show them your socks. Oh, nice. Nice. So, the koi nobori are placed out in Japan um, through April and uh, up till May 5th, which is Children's Day in Japan. And Children's Day is a, used to be Boys' Day. So they've got Girls' Day, which is Hinam, Hinamatsuri, which is, uh, I believe, March 3rd. And um, rather than having only Boys' Day for the carp, they decided to make it into Children's Day, which is, I think, I can, the way it should be. Daddy, and, yeah. I can so so. I can so. Huh? I can see so what? many carps. Where? Up yeah. here. Yeah, up here. So we're heading up to to at Tokyo Tower. At the base is a very impressive koi no body display. That's what we're heading to right now. So Joji actually knows the history of um, the koi no body, and he's going to tell us. So koi, what is? Let's just we'll get. But I don't know very much. I know you don't. You know enough to explain to the people. Yeah. All right. So what is koi? What is koi? A carp. It means carp, right? And no body. Put your face in the sun. Go up. To go up, no bodu, like to climb. Climb waterfall. Okay. To go up a waterfall. So. The car goes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in order. 
order to climb a waterfall, you have to be strong, right? So the carp are carp are revered for their strength. Carp are very strong, and um, so that is the history behind the koi nobori. So basically. Oh, wait a minute, these guys look like you, Joji. No! Oh, I've seen this character before. You've seen that character before? Yeah. Yeah, I see it every day when I look at you. Oh, it's not me, it's like you. Okay, stand between them. Let's see if you look see, like them. See, because it's Peter. Okay, look over here. Yeah, I see the resemblance. Triplets. Look, it's doing like a, like a one piece event. Look, see? Okay. One piece. Yeah. So we're at the base of Tokyo Tower right now. And just over here are the carp streamers. So, yeah, somebody asked about, um, the history. So, the in the past, and this started this started a long, long time ago. Um, the carp streamers, uh, uh, nobody. Can I koi, koi, eat yeah, you can. Sure, sure, sure. So, koi nobody was Boys' Day. It was celebrated on Boys' Day, which is May fifth. And the the carp are, is considered a, a strong fish that's able to climb the sides of buildings and waterfalls. Okay, maybe just waterfalls. But they are revered for their strength and the boys, traditionally in a Japanese family, were supposed to be the strong ones to, to help, <coughs> help um, carry on the, the family name and you know, to be the, the foundation of the family, the strength of the family. Well, we all know that women are the strength of the family. So finally the Japanese government took notice and said, hey, wait a minute, chicks are stronger than guys. So it's kind of like sabetsu, it's discrimination if we just keep the koi, the nobody, for boys. So they made it Children's Day. So May 5th is no longer just Boys Day or Girls Day, it's Children's Day and that's the way it should be. Now we all got the history. Let's see. Why the red skull cap for Jizo statues? Okay. So the Jizo statues, they, um, the, the, I don't know the history of, of knitting the caps, but it's just, it's symbolic of people, they dress the Jizo statues. Y'all take that. Uh, hey, 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 get a share. Come on, come on. Give me that big fat olive. Oh, gee. Uh, Do you want to be grounded? Then. Hey! <laughs> so. It's mine! Hey, what do I tell you every morning? So, every morning, Joji and I, when I want to get him ready for school, we have a talk. Every single morning. And here's how the talk goes. Alright, have a good day. Eat a big lunch. Listen to your teacher and focus. Ask lots of questions, answer lots of questions. Be nice to everybody, make a lot of friends, and... Share! That's yes, right. I share right now. Share. So all you boys and girls, yes, no. dads, and moms, aunts and uncles, grandpas and grandmas, share. Share, 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 That share. makes the world a better place. Right? So I, I, sorry, I got, uh, I got sidetracked about the, the skull caps. So people dress, they dress these Jizo statues as a way of, uh, to help with their closure. Um, they've lost a child. Um, this could, it could be, you know, um, a stillborn child or just a miscarriage or it could be a, a, an abortion. Um, and people go there and they, they uh, decorate the Jizo to help bring closure and to, to um, 
ensure that the the soul of the departed of the child makes it to heaven um, and by dressing it putting the skull cap and you may have noticed there's like a, a, a collar and other like a pinwheel and things those, those things are all um, a traditional way of, of decorating the Jizo for that purpose so, yeah. um, so behind me here we are at the base of Tokyo Tower Let's see if I can show you up, up above us here. I don't know if I can get up that high. Oh, you want to look at me? Wait, wait, wait. Are we lost. Oh no, we've we've lost we've lost it. What happened here? We're, we lost control. My my gimbal is has gone wacko. Hang on. All right, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Right. So at the base of Tokyo Tower, and over here is the. Koi no Bori display. There's hundreds of them. I think there's actually 333 of them, which is symbolic of the height of Tokyo Tower. I think it's 333 meters high. So let's go have a closer look. Let's get up to the, the part where it's more light over here, Joji. Aren't those pretty? These are really pretty. Is it clear? Inside is so cool. Okay. Sorry. Oh shoot. Sorry guys. What's inside, Jojo? There's like a Lego. There's a Lego. There's a what? So we're gonna go take a peek. We'll take a quick peek inside here. I'll show you guys. So um, recently, I did a, a job here for Tokyo Tower, and um, there's a guided tour. If you go to the top deck. At Tokyo Tower, it's the highest point you can go legally um, as a human, and there is a guided tour, an audio guide um, in 13 different languages. Can you guess what language I did? Not Swahili. And it's really cool. It's, it has there's sensors in the ceiling, and depending on where you go in the top deck. You, um, it activates it activates the audio guide, and so, for example, if you're in the southern part facing south, it automatically will um, know where you're facing, and it will give you some some uh, some information about the buildings that are out that way, and you know what countries go beyond the Pacific, and blah 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 blah. So it's it's a cool it's a really cool tour. So let's take a quick look at the entrance. I'm not going to take you in there. But uh, we'll just take a quick look at the entrance. Look, so, Daddy, look, 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 look. What? Lego! Uh, okay, okay. We'll take, 
There's a giant Lego guy. It's okay, no tickets, Daddy. I'm not sure. So here's the, that's the top deck tour entrance right there. So it's to Tokyo Tower, we're at Tokyo Tower, the top deck tour. I highly recommend if you come here. It's brand new, they've renovated it. And John Dobb and I did a live stream from here at the grand opening of the top deck tour. And um, I think he has since made it private. There were some issues. so. You may be able to bug him. If you haven't seen it, it's worth watching. It's pretty hilarious. Um, but we were invited to the, the grand opening of the Top Deck Tour here at Tokyo Tower. And is that backwards? It's weird. Everything's backwards here. So again, very interesting um, audio guide for the Top Deck Tour. If you have a chance here at Tokyo Tower, as you can see, there's lots of people queuing up for that very reason. They want to see the new uh, renovated top deck and they want to um, they want to hear Peter Von Gom's narration, most likely. I think that's the real reason. Oh, the Lego guys over here. Let's wrap out. You want to take a picture with the Lego guy? No, 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 no. Look. Yeah. This is live. Okay, go over. Oh. Oh, you have to. We have to wait in line. Do you want to get in there with him? You don't want? To? Okay. This one. All right. Let's go back up. Wrap it, okay. All right, <laughs> Joji just asked me to wrap it up. You wanna wrap it up? Yeah. All right, all right. So we're gonna wrap it up here shortly. We're gonna wrap up our live stream from Tokyo Tower. Uh, it's Golden Week in Tokyo, and we're out checking out the Koi no Bori, also known as Carp Streamers. And we saw the Jizo statues, so if you haven't seen that in the live stream, play it again. Play it again, Sam. And don't forget, man, we need those likes, people. We need those likes up, thumbs up. We need to keep this channel growing. And again, thank you all so much for your support. We got 5,000 people. So happy. Me so happy. And in case you missed, go watch that video. That's the... Uh, the celebratory video for 5,000 subscribers. I got a very special award from YouTube. And it was a fun video to make. So if we can get that little back. Oh, wait, 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 there we are. All right. So I'm gonna take you out with a final view of the carp streamers. Tokyo Tower. And then come out that way? Yeah. And let's see, let's see from this angle here. Uh, let's get a, uh, we'll get a final view for you guys all the way down from the end here. This might be the most impressive shot. And what's there we the, go. And what's the book one too? Right? Daddy, book. The book? Like apple. In this apple and Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Joji has a before we before we sign out permanently, Joji has a quick message. What did you want to tell the people? What's the is 
I didn't understand a word that guy said. Anybody, anybody can translate that for me? First of all, take off your hat so we can see your face. Okay. So you're telling the people to please watch our other videos. Like, uh, that's right, the Interrupting Chicken. Those were the, uh, the storybooks that we read together, which are really fun to make and pretty funny. So please check it out. Um, I'll be doing a lot more of those coming up. Um, Patreon account is in the works. Many people have asked, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, and I'm, I'm working out some details for that right now. And please expect um, that news coming in the, the very, very near future. So uh, I've got some some fun things uh, planned for that. So I would I would be uh, hugely happy with your support for that. Um, and uh, yeah, so. As always, thanks again for your support, watching the channel, watching our crazy videos, and, and uh, we're having a good time. And drink sparkling water. Oh, that's a that was a nice product placement, Joji. What are they paying you for that? Oh. I'd like to have a percentage of that. All right, going out with the carp. See you guys, thanks so much for, uh, for tuning in. And uh, if I can spin this around. Happy Golden Week, everybody. Take care.